What's up, everybody? What's up, nerds family? It's your friend, Chef Enoch. Check out the apron. Looking good. It's also black. It's slimming. <laughs> I just told that joke, so the people who are right here, they just heard that joke twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up, people? <laughs> Our, uh, so I got some food prep to do tonight for uh, church tomorrow because I'm making this delicious food. And so I figured, you know what, I'm going to be up, and uh, you guys are probably going to be up, so why not? I'm good? Yeah. Right. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. right. Yo, what's cooking in your kitchen? Uh, I'm going to show you here and just show you guys what... Uh, but Slade and friends, I want to say a shout out to you. Tiffany absolutely loves the design. Uh, Slade and Friends made the logo for Tiffany's show, and we're going to be revealing it sometime soon. Awesome! For that, yay! Aaron, you Todd Fayer is here. Kevin Feige is a master chef, yes, but I am the master of all. <laughs> uh, Multiverse of Movies, what's up, Isaac? We already know our. Uh, our Scipio is here. Enosh with a Superman apron. That's taking it to extreme, don't you think, Enosh? I wouldn't be surprised if Enosh wears Batman undies. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. I do. I do. Actually, I do have. I do have Batman. I got Superman undies right. Now. Or not right now. Actually, uh, no. Like, dude, I, I live this life. Have you seen my house? Seen the like the previews? Went around the house and stuff. What's up, Scotty? Um, yes, watch out, everyone. He might put spaghetti in that pot pie. No. Uh, oh, spaghetti pot pie. I don't know. That'd be. Uh... No, nah, that's probably going too far. But uh, spaghetti tacos, Scotty. You're gonna, you're gonna try them at some point, bro. At some point, you will try them. So, anyways, I went and saw Morbius tonight. So. And. Don't feel that I should that I should reveal it in this though, in in this setting. I feel well, like I think this is the perfect opportunity to because then you can be like, you want to know what I thought of Morbius? Got to watch the cooking streams. I guess so. I guess so. Well, first, how about how about I show you what I'm cooking? How about it? How about that? First, I'll show you what I'm cooking, and then we'll decide if I'm going to do the Morbius thing. food. Cooking with Enosh. There we go. Okay. So here is what you need. I'm making this like this chicken pot pie stuff. Crock pot. Super good. This is what you need to make this. You need a bunch of chicken breast. Now I'm making pots work. Two pots. Large pot. So I got, uh, I think, what I got in here? I got uh, uh, full size chicken breast in here. My boys, they went to uh, the store to get some more. And they told me, well, Dad, they only come four in a pack. I'm like, okay, two packs. Well, there's two breasts in each of these packs. So this is eight. It has eight. That's all right. We froze the rest of it. And Plus, if you want to do it the easy way, like me, a couple big packages of mixed vegetables. Like so. Then, because I'm doing, well, I mean, you're not going to need a couple packs. A small amount. Uh, then let me get yourself some cream of chicken soup. Got plenty back here. Got a little bit of chicken broth, and then we're gonna do some seasoning, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then you put it in the crock pot, and uh, I will, uh, I will show you how that goes while we talk. And have, uh, fun along the way. Oh, yeah, should be fun. So, uh, did you see Morbius, RJ? I did. I did. Take a more. <laughs> he's trying to freeze frame us out again <laughs> there goes okay wait is he saying can you hear me now no no if, if you're asking if we can hear you then no we can't no no now we can not but we're now not we can, back yeah. there yeah that's weird i think this phone's doing the same thing that the other one did that's ticking me off 
probably a software. Yeah, and the audio is getting scratchy. Yeah. Well, I can fix that in just a second. But RJ, tell us what you thought. First. Um, Isaac, uh -oh. you should go first. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be nice. <laughs> Fine, I, I'll, I'll go first. Um, I surprisingly liked it. I had very low expectations, but uh, I watched a movie and I really liked it. And oh crap, I dropped something. Uh, but um, you know, I, I liked it. I liked Jared Leto in it. Matt Smith to me was the one that stole the show. Um, it was fun. It was enjoyable. It to me, it is my favorite of the Sony marvel movies or at least the the sony verse i mean i liked vo both venom movies specifically more venom of three carnage but i liked Morbius a little more uh i had fun with it i i enjoyed the serious tone of it too i like how it's kind of like that demon in a bottle story i'm a sucker for those kinds of stories i'm also a sucker for like friendship stories so to see um morbius and milo I, I thought their chemistry was really good i liked it um there are some negatives i have i thought some of the cgi was wonky the post credits were it felt like a fourth grader wrote them um and i do think the child actor for morbius was not very good um but overall i still enjoyed it. i you know this is my biggest hot take of all time probably but even though i like no way home i prefer morbius over no way home <laughs> yeah isaac really thinks that yeah yeah, it's not a troll. It's not a troll. He genuinely believes that. You know, April. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? He said, "You know, April Fool's Day was the other day, right?" <laughs> That's what I kept getting when I first reviewed Morbius. <laughs> um, I feel the complete polar opposite to Isaac. I absolutely hated this movie. I really disliked it. Really, really, really disliked it. Um. I tried going in with as open a mind as I possibly could, and I just didn't enjoy it. I think that uh, it reminds me a lot of Fan Four Stick from 2015 with an okay first half, but that second half, whoo, whoa, Nelly, that second half is bad with some really odd creative decisions. I mean, there's some nice directing and some decent acting, but it's just a lot of it's boring. A lot of it's just like why. They wasted Tyrese Gibson. I feel like they wasted a lot of actors in that movie. Uh, and the two post credit scenes are probably the most insulting thing I've seen a major studio do in a long time. So, yay! And again, it's how you end your movie. And if you end your movie with a bunch of garbage, it just makes it all the worse. So I really did not like it. I really did not like it. But, hey, if you like it, more props to you. I just could not stand it. So do you want to join the Morbius fan club? No, I'm good. <laughs> I agree with the Dork Knight, though. You could tell the studio interfered with this movie big time. Like, someone took a hacket and freaking cut this movie up in the editing bay. This movie, like, it reeked of studio interference, in my opinion. Like, it reeked of studio interference. Like, somebody was messing with this movie. And I think it just made for a poorer product in the end. Like, I could tell immediately looking at this, like, yep, yep, Sony interfered. Something's going on here behind the scenes. Like, it, it there's too many nauseous. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. Yes. that better? Yeah. yeah. Much. So, see, you get me right here. Looking here. And then Ooh. what I'm going to do here. Whoops, hold on a second. I'll get two e nauseous. Mm hmm. <laughs> yep, Enosh and Poindexter Lounge. Poindexter Lounge, Enosh. <laughs> yeah, Enosh's face to get Enosh's back. <laughs> Two different <laughs> universes. <laughs> <laughs> Two different universes of Enosh. Are you getting an echo? No, not really. No. You sound good. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Okay. So, let me do this. And then this will actually work out better because hold on a second here. Do this. Because I can actually show what, what I'm doing. doing. Awesome. Check that out. Whoa. Whoa. Aren't we fancy? Yes, sir. Definitely a good cooking setup. 
Come on. That's not it. It's in here. Okay. I think we're good. Check that out. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Who is, who is, oh, Eddie's here. Okay. So I'm just going to be absolutely honest with you. Ain't nothing wrong with that film. I, this, this gross overreaction to Morbius, I, it's, I feel like there's been a, I don't even know, man. I, I feel like there's just been this mass hysteria that it's like everybody just got into this whole thing of it's it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Oh, look, we heard it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. And they, they just run with that. I mean, I don't understand what's so bad about the film, honestly. It, it feels like a 90s film. Uh, it feels like a 90s superhero. Yeah, some of the some of the some of the the stuff is wonky. Some of the CGI is wonky. Uh, and yeah, I agree about the the end credit scene. The ending is is horrible. Uh, the way that it just ends abruptly, I didn't like that. How it just ended abruptly. But other than that, I really well, it that. ends abruptly, and then you get the two post credit scenes that make absolutely no sense. But you know, well, it does. I mean, it does make sense. Really, if you think about uh, it. The first one I can live with. The second one, though? Oh, boy. Yeah, the second, <laughs> the second one's bad. The, the, well, the, the first one is fine. The second one only doesn't make sense. Just, I mean, it doesn't make sense. I mean, I understand what they're doing, but it doesn't really make sense given the fact that, like, they're, they're kind of painting Morbius as being a good guy. So, that, I'll tell you what, that's, that's the most um, aggravating thing, I think, about all of it, actually. Is the fact that uh, now we're we're turning all of the villains into good guys? Apparently, like, is this like a is this like a new thing? That like, like just like uh, Warner Brothers or DC was like, hey, are those McFarland figures, we're not going to pack guns with them anymore. Even though Peacemaker, like, that's his whole thing is guns, so we're not going to pack a gun with Peacemaker or uh, Bloodsport at all in those action figures. But we're going to like give him a sword. But no guns, no guns, can't have a gun. So now what, we can't have actual villains? Like everybody's gotta have a sad story and uh, we gotta feel bad for everybody apparently. I, yes, exactly. <laughs> Pretty well, much, yeah. That's annoying, that's annoying. So, I mean, unless we believe Toombs uh, at his word and he really wants to do some good. <laughs> Well, I, I could say more about spoilers, but the thing he says about the one character and what he wants to do that character I, I, makes no sense either because Morbius doesn't know that character. <laughs> so, well, I does he? Does he or doesn't he? I don't think he does. He, did, he didn't question it. He doesn't. It. He didn't he question doesn't. it. He doesn't. So that's, he doesn't. Well, that's true. Okay. He doesn't Maybe question Spider -Man it. Spider-Man does but exist I, in that world. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... Maybe I don't know. Oh, no, I mean, is it like the, the bully Maguire? Maybe that's a reveal to come. All right. So I'm going to show you guys first of all. It's not Toby Maguire. I'm going to show okay. you guys how I do this chicken first of all. You ready for this? I said so bully Maguire. I got to get the fatty parts off and stuff like that. And then uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to get all that off. All that stuff off. That skin. Not all of it, but just, just those end parts there. Any of you guys do any cooking? Uh, occasionally. Yes. I dabble here and there. I've seen Ratatouille a couple of times. Oh, oh, my I, promise you, I promise you I have no... Uh, <laughs> no... Uh, rats in my hair. Prove that it. That freaks me out, dude. I'm sorry. I hate rodents, so I, I just can't with Ratatouille. That's just the grossest. Oh, thing. that's a good, it's a sweet movie, though, man. Bro, lessons, Ratatouille, lessons, Ratatouille anyone, is a nice the, the whole kind of rat phobic. Anyone can cook. Anyone can cook, man. No, I just, I, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> no. I, I don't want rodents anywhere near anything that has anything to do with me, especially not food. Like, dude, that's just gross. That's just like, dude. The very thought of that is just nasty to me. So I, I just can't make it through that. Bro, even your dog could cook, bro. What are you talking about? 
What's that? You mean your dog could cook if you wanted to. <laughs> I'd rather eat something from my dog than a rat. Oh, wow. <laughs> Rats are so movie. nasty, dude. They, they literally caused the black plague. Like, what the heck? That and feces. Uh, yes, yeah, sure, yeah. And I don't want either of those near my food. But they make excellent, excellent food, like in Ratatouille. Yeah, he, 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 he was cleaning himself, too. He was cleaning himself in the film, too. Is he? He's cleaning himself? Yes, he's very clean. Right, too, is very clean. <laughs> he also ate very slowly. Oh, uh, I'll say my thoughts on Moria. It's a piece of shit movie. This is disgraceful. It's disgraceful characters. That is, so hyperbol- that is so hyperbolic. The the most right. the uh, listen the like only like uh, Milo. Please find Matt Smith for different job, bro. Come on, disrespect to the guy. I mean, he's um, already gonna and, do that Game of Thrones uh, stuff. No, he, he's, yeah, gonna go to the, he's got Game of Thrones. He'll be fine. He's, he's, he was he, in he's, go, he's going to the MC. Don't worry, we take him to the MC. We give him an X Men role. Don't worry. Ryan, about it. Ryan says, uh, "Oh, it says how many nights would uh, would you think that chicken pot pie dish would last?" Enough. Well, I mean, I'm making a lot of it right now because uh, I'm making it for like many people tomorrow at church. But um, when I've made it here for at home, I mean, it lasts a few days. We you keep it refrigerated and I mean, it'll be, it'll be fine because once it's cooked and, and everything, uh, you just put it in some, you know, in a, in a in some Tupperware and you're good to go, man. It, it'll, it'll yeah. be a long time. And I'll tell you, this is great winter, uh, beat the winter blues, uh, type, uh, type of comfort food. You know, he also says, uh, I think that, uh, I should make some film TV show related meals more often. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Aaron that, that asked that. How many nights do I think that chicken pot pie thing would last? Uh, Ryan said you should make that film, TV show related meals more often. Uh, who are the people responsible for the Morbius misinformation of being a dumpster fire for film? I don't I'll know. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you Sony, Sony, because he told me that Michael Keaton was going to be in this movie a lot. And well, I, I, it's never a good, well, it's never a good sign, though, when you're directing. Whole, okay, but that's why it's hyperbolic, because... That doesn't mean that the whole movie is trash just because it wasn't. It was it was full advertisement. It was full advertisement. But that's one. That's like one little part that doesn't have anything to do with the story. Doesn't have anything to do with the characters. Doesn't have anything. No, to he do was with the, rest the, of the movie. He was well, there. Here's what I'll say, like, I, I, you were promoting Michael Keane as a co-star. They yeah, kind of. I mean, he, he narrated the final co-star. trailer, and they yep. were showing like a lot of scenes that were on the cut. That's why I. I, I that's why it's confusing to me because I feel like they took a hacky job in the editing bay and it felt like the studio kind of interfered. Because now you, know, you got the director talking about, well, that was a Sony decision, or well, I wasn't involved in that. I wasn't involved in this and that. I'm just like, he was okay, even that's not involved a good in the trailer editing. Like, your director's like, don't blame me for this. Now, I'm going to show you guys studio. something. I'm going to show you guys something here. You can take this and you can, if you want, just put these in whole in with the rest of the ingredients. What I like to do is, because I like to come up, it helps it cook a little faster. Because what because what you do is, is after about about six to eight hours, you go in there and you shred up all the chicken inside the mixture because it cooks inside the, the thing. So what we're going to do first, though, is we are going to season this stuff. Season it. Ooh. Yeah, we are. I yeah, like I, I thought like the CGI from Morris was okay. It was looking remind me of the studio squad. Like it was chopped up in hell, and then the post credit scenes are the worst shit I ever saw in history. And yeah, I don't know what Sony's doing with this universe. I right. guarantee you, in the Craven movie, they're gonna have Michael Keaton and Morbius show up in the post credit scene, be like, "Hey, come team up." That's what's gonna happen. All right here's some simple seasoning. You ready for this? Simple seasoning. You got some uh, some granulated garlic. Good old garlic. All right, so here. Just sparingly there. Nice. There we go. Then we're going to take some garlic salt. I I love garlic. You guys like garlic? Yes. Yes. I love seasoning. I love. I like food. Me too. <laughs> All right. And we're going to take some black pepper. 
if you got the kind where you can get fancy with it and like you know actually uh, grind it, that's cool too. Oops. Ooh, the top came out. That would have been bad. <laughs> Dump all that in there. That's not good. That would have spilled all over the floor. You ever do that where like pepper just like like you over pepper? Yeah, a whole bunch of tip comes out. Yeah, I'm I'm swooping it out of whatever you're making. I know, man. I I, I uh, when I had my bariatric surgery, I had I, I ate a lot of cottage cheese, and um, mm. I I love pepper in my cottage cheese. But man, every once in a while, I would just accidentally just dump pepper in my cottage cheese, and I hated that. Now here's here's where you get your some flavor, some paprika. Mm -hmm. Paprika, my friends. Sounds fancy. Oh, brand new. So Spanish. Paprika. 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 Mm -hmm. I always use uh, some paprika on all of my uh, my chicken dishes. Yeah, a friend of mine. Um it's like the main ingredient for Hungarian chicken. Good stuff. Good mm -hmm. stuff. Man, if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling frisky, <laughs> I got this mesquite flavor. Ooh. And I just put a dash of that. Not a lot. Yeah. Just enough. Enough to enhance the other flavors. Exactly. Just a smidge. All right. And then because I want to, uh, uh, wanted to kind of be able to cook a little bit faster. Now I'm going to go ahead and slice this into slices. Mm. Thus the term slice. <laughs> slice them into strips the length long way. <laughs> yes. All right, Anthony, while I'm doing that, go go ahead and finish your uh, your thought there. Oh yeah, I mean, I thought it was I, I give it like I I'll, I'll be I I'll give it like a five out of ten. It was a I didn't like it. I hope if movies show up, maybe in Craven or the next Venom movie, who knows? They give him better dialogue, and it's not Joe Little's fault. I believe in Joe Little. I think he's a good actor. He's an Oscar winning actor, but like it, it just uh, Sony did not him, did not do him justice. This is like his studio squad. Like he was not there a lot. But um, Matt Smith, I enjoyed him. I think he was good in the movie. But I just, those post credit scenes, I just did not like it at all. It just went down for me after that. Sure. I understand and the post credit scene thing. Uh, and I just I just wish that Sony has, I wish Sony got the same writers on No Way Home to explain those post credit scenes. That's not how the spell works. It does not do that. Cause how do you, well, how do you know? Because... Even, you worked for Marvel. Maybe. <laughs> it, like I said, it, it's a whole thing. I mean, like I said, is it like the worst movie I've ever seen? No. It's not as bad as Transformers oh, that, that, 4, yeah. The Age of Extinction. That, no, this is running That's the test number 4. I don't know. Like Wait, I said, this I, smells I, I, so good right now. This oh, I bet. So right mm. so I'm just going to lay these strips in here. Build that bot the bottom of this with these. Got a super shot from Todd Fair. Hey, Todd, thank you, bro. This Kevin Feige is one yeah. of the greatest cooks on the planet. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. That's why he always wears a hat. There you go. He's seen Ratatouille. I'm, I'm pretty ah. sure. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Kevin Feige got his own chef at his house. So, like, you know. He's, he's he's a billionaire. He does he does you know he don't need he needs his chef. Maybe that oh, chef man, that works dude. for him leaked Spider Man No Way Home. Ooh. <laughs> Eddie, what did you think of Morbius? He fell asleep twice. No, I actually had. Did you really fall asleep twice? No, I didn't fall asleep twice. Um, but I had to watch it twice because I fell asleep and I missed the whole thing. Uh, oh, no. I'll tell you what happened. So I watched the first <laughs> for the first thirty minutes. I was Thank awake for the, the first thirty minutes. I was awake for the movie. Now no, I, I guess I was already having an iffy day, but last thing I remember is waking up, somebody waking me up, and the movie was already over. 
So I was like, <laughs> damn. So I so I left to get something to eat until the next next time it was gonna screen. So I had a lot enough time, like at least a good 30 minutes. So I just went to get like McDonald's or something. And then I just waited it out, went back, bought, bought new tickets, and then just watched it. It was empty anyway. There was hardly anyone there, but it's like damn. <laughs> I had to watch many, it all, man. Yeah. There was like two. There was like two people in theaters. With nah, me. Was like, wow. not, not for me. There was there was there was like, at least like ten. But was, it was, I, you know, I was in no rush to get like new tickets since uh, since you know I was like, damn, I re- I was I I did not that never happened to me before in a the theater. I, me going to sleep. Mind you, this you is New York City, twice? the biggest market. I had to because I missed it. Why? So, so you I, have to talk to the management at that point. Did they give you a discount. Yeah, no, no, it's, I mean, it's okay. Don't worry. I, I, I wasn't like, it, 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 my opinion was like more my fault that I went to sleep. So I was like, whatever. So I was just, like I said, I just wanted to get something to eat and, at, at McDonald's. And then I just waited until it was going to show again. And then I just bought my new tickets and went inside and just watched it the whole thing. I give it, I give it like a D, man. I, uh, this movie for me isn't it. It's like mediocre in my opinion. I don't think it's the worst thing ever, but it's definitely not something I want to, you know. <laughs> See again for the third time. <laughs> well, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. I'm not rushing back to see it again. Yeah, it will be on Netflix in the next couple of months from now. It'll be on Netflix. No, oh. Morbius is not better than Zack Snyder's Justice League. But I will say this: oh. I I do agree with um. I do agree with uh, uh, William that it's basically on par with uh, with Venom. Ooh, I, I like no. Venom more. I will say no, I like no. Venom more, but it's about on par with Venom too. Is that yeah, really that great that. though? That's not exactly a, a stunning uh, seal of approval. I know, but it's <laughs> on par with Venom too. I mean, it's it's not horrible. It's well, not, here's the thing though: like not great, for me, not like the horrible. Venom movies were at least fun, right? I mean, they're like they're slocky fun movies, like they're dumb fun. Morbius, I don't feel like it doesn't have like that fun. camp factor to it. Like some like camp. Like, which is fine. I'm not saying it need to be like funny or fun. I understand, like, it's a different tone, but like, there's not like, there's just nothing to get attached to for me. I feel like that's a problem. If it was more like well, more sloppy like fun, hmm? maybe you just don't like Morbius. I like the character of Morbius. I've liked him in like the cartoons and stuff and stuff I've seen. I just don't think like but that's a problem, isn't it? Well, I'm saying I, I've I said I'm well, like I said I've liked him in other interpretations like comics and cartoons and stuff like I don't hate the character inherently it's more so just like this adaptation of it I'm not sure what was missing but it just I just was not entertained I guess that's the best way I could put it to me Blake like, to me like my favorite thing about Blade is that he is where he always he always fight sometimes Blade and Spider Man. And I would like him to fight Blade, because that would be if they fight Blade, that would be like an eight hundred million dollar movie right there, easily with Jared Leto and Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, Jesus, pronounce his name. Muhammad like, Ali. Muhammad, what do you pronounce that guy's name? The new Blade. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, whatever. Yeah. But like, it, it, it just I want I want him to fight Leto, but and, and be in the same universe as Tom Holland. I think that would perfectly fit right there with that universe. The jokes in Morbius was terrible. I could not laugh one forever at all. Especially that scene when he talking to um, Tyrese. I was like, oh, Jesus. You don't want to see me angry. I mean, hungry. I was like, okay, whatever, bro. Now I feel bad for Tyrese because you could tell, like, you know, the bionic arm talk and the powers, and you didn't see any of that stuff in the movie. <laughs> He's not in the movie. It's not. I feel bad. I, I tell you this. Can somebody, family? Uh, can somebody message William and uh, and answer him? Yeah, Enosh is up. Enosh is uh, doing a live stream right now. Tell me, tell me you're not watching without telling me you're not watching. <laughs> That's funny. And and then you have the same writers of this movie doing Adam we- Adam Adam Webb. I was like, oh Jesus, it's about to be terrible. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody's going to care about Madam Web. Oh, 100%. That movie's not making that much money. Well, and hold on, though. People said the same thing about Morbius. No one's going to care about Morbius. And, and well, that Morbius, movie, the Morbius Morbius makes about Morbius million? and Madam Web. Nobody gives a crap yeah. about Web. I mean, like, unless, unless they do some huge tie-in to something else, let's be honest. Nobody really knows 
like how like how they promised Morbius would tie into Vulture and the MCU. Yeah, yep. uh, that, worked, that, worked, that worked out great. Unless they do some huge tie into something. Unless they do some huge tie into something, nobody's even going to know who that is, man. Like, no, probably not. not. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, at this point, I'm starting to care less and less about whatever the heck Sony's doing because to me, it's like there's nothing really going on. Like, we're going back to the well of what they want to do in 2014, but we're just doing you it. Mean probably Tasm worse. Too? You mean Tasm yeah, 2? Yeah, yeah, with Tasm 2. It's like we're just going back to that well again about what they want to build towards. And I get it, but it's like, what well, I don't know. I don't know. We're super chat. What's that? So now I say to Todd, we read his super chat. Yeah, I read your I read your super chat, uh, Todd. One second, I gotta go up here. It's not going. Wait a second, because I don't have my. Dang it. Okay, I'm just gonna have to like random. Dang it! I hate that. Oh, here we go. Oops. Okay. There it is. There we go. Good as Todd. I read it, man. Kevin Feige is one of the greatest cooks on the planet because I said I am the greatest. Okay. <laughs> All that money he makes, he got his own chef, bro. Maybe hire Enosh as his chef. Oh, uh, you got H Bart super chat. Uh, H Bart says uh, five with a five dollar super chat. Thank you. Says, what did you think of Cody and Stone Cold returns? Um, so here's here's my thoughts on that. Oh yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah. Because we, uh, we were recording that uh, 20 questions. We were just like, is it actually going to be Cody or no? <laughs> yep. And then it was. And it was. It was. Hey, and that's cool. That's cool. He had, And he and I, I read his description of, like, why he came back. And I think that's cool. He's got something to prove. He wants the WWE championship because his dad never held it. Yeah, and they're probably going to give it to him. I, I would say by, like, at least next year he'll probably have it. I, yeah, I, I think I'm so. Sure, I think SummerSlam sure is probably going to get it. I'm sure that was well, a prerequisite. Hey, uh, what, what's going on here? We're cooking. cooking. We're cooking. Yo, William. Yeah. What, 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 cooking? In fact, no, in fact you cooking. can help me if I get a super chat. You can. Uh... He's feeding the army that's guarding the house, William. He's feeding the panel. Watch those fingers. Listen. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want a dismemberment on a live air, man. That, that's going to traumatize people. Oh my god! Uh, no, I'm actually good. Hey, are you gonna put that in the microwave? No, no, we're not old like you. We don't microwave everything, my friend. Uh, young like me microwave everything. <laughs> old me just followed it. <laughs> yeah, why would you, you make, microwave you chicken? Alone in the microwave, something's wrong with you, man. You're not American. So. No, um, but yeah, no, the the Cody thing was cool. I, I so I haven't seen any of the matches yet to actually be able to. Ah, uh, the I watched them all. Ugh. I haven't judged the actual match. Uh, I I will say this just real quick. Uh, considering my expectations were about uh, six feet under for this show, <laughs> wow. uh, yeah. I was pleasantly surprised. This was not a complete disaster. Um, the women's matches held up the night. There's two. Uh, awesome one of them did. Matches. One of them did. The other one was. Terrible. I thought the Blair match was good as well. I mean, better. really, you yeah. like that? I thought it was bad. I didn't like that one at all. Oh, it, listen! Blair carried her. I don't. I didn't think uh, uh, Becky looked good at all. But I. Think oh no! no oh no! 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 Sorry! Sorry! I meant to say the best match of the night in terms of the women's matches was Bianca and Becky. The okay. Charlotte and Ronda one was terrible. I did not that like that match was at all. Stupid. I thought the match technically was great. I thought that ending was stupid, and that's not something you do at a pay per view. How about they, Logan Paul? How about Logan Paul? Uh, you know what? Here, I went to here, the here's what I'll say. Right. Again, my expectations were six feet under for the entire show. <laughs> but outside of the Charlotte Flair and, and uh, Ronda Rousey match, I thought this was actually a really good uh, pay-per-view. It was thought, better than it had any business being. Uh, it was that? a lot better. Actually, this is probably one of the better WrestleManias they've had in a while, honestly. Uh, wow, I like That it. opening I card, the Usos match sucked. Well, they, beat, it, they blew a it, move that almost took a guy's leg out. Or did well, yeah, out. I mean... Again, that match could have been. It, it was a SmackDown match. The red, uh, the Baron Corbin versus Drew McIntyre match. It was a SmackDown match oh, on WrestleMania. What, what was, was the end of that? What was what, 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 the Highlander moment? 
I like that though. That was cool. That was you know, cool. Everyone always wondered if the sword was real. Now we know it's real. You can cut people up. Let's cut the ropes. <laughs> he did it in such a robotic way. We were like, what are you doing? The the uh the Mysterios versus Miz and Logan Paul. I was shocked. Uh Logan Paul can actually wrestle. I was actually kind of impressed to be honest. Yeah, that was like a, Bad Bunny got, last year. That was remember well, Bad Bunny was not actually surprised better than he should have got, been. He got a background of fighting. As a kid, yeah. so he knows. But it's still, it's still hard. Yeah. Wrestling is really. I want to know, Will, William. What's your take, though, Cody? Cody. Um, I because um, that was that was the biggest thing at that show outside of Stone Cold. See, that was that the was worst kept secret because everybody knew it was going to be him. Well, biggest, I don't know though because there was speculation it could have been Shane or Undertaker. There were the that would have been. Around. I don't they think they would have screwed the themselves off. like that. Oh, wait, hold on. We got it. We had another uh, ten dollars uh, from Todd. Can somebody pull up? Uh, or uh, mm-hmm. William, can you pull up Todd's? Uh, other ten dollars super chat because I, I did miss that one. This one? Uh, yes. One? Now this it's, is the next. The next thing here is we have some uh, some chicken broth. It's actually reduced. That's, is that the same chicken stuff chicken they put in top ramen? No. Okay. I'm just asking. You are a bachelor, aren't you? You are. You, you eat like my kids, my, like my teenagers. So. We're, is there so like open flame in there? Is that what you're going to be cooking this over? No, we're cooking this slow cooking, man. Okay, so we're gonna we just, we just, like put bit, we just put a little bit of broth in there to make that nice and um, do that. Now I'm gonna put mine on high, get that started, and then we're gonna mix in this. Uh, first of all, Todd Fair though, ten dollars. Thank you, buddy. Says the MCU, uh, the MCU tries. So, uh, so the MCU so tries to copy movie world because whatever they do, DC will try to copy it. Oh, come on, Todd. He's talking about Warner Brothers. He's talking about Warner Brothers. Brothers. I kind of agree. Warner Brothers are fucking retard. They do like copying the MCU. The executive executive branch currently, yeah, but not their creators. Their creators start out with something else, and it gets shoehorned into a a copy. That's not the creator's fault. That's the knucklehead executives. But once again, we're nine days away from that not being a, a problem. Bro, okay, so what's, what's the stuff in the pot? What is that? Is that what meat looks like when it's, it's chicken? It's chicken, it's, uh, it, cut up. In I strips. thought this stuff came out of a plastic p- p- uh, package and with all this Hold stuff. In it. What is let me ask you a question? How is it, how is it though, that they supposedly uh copy, but yet everybody says they should do what Marvel does? They don't, they're not trying to copy, they literally try to do their own thing. And they, they don't got a Kevin Feige. They don't got a cup of five years. There you go. Well, I think, well, here's, no, what I would say is like, it seems like they're kind of like copying them from like in terms of like trying to get to a certain business model when all fans are what fans are kind of claiming for is like, hey, structurally, we wouldn't mind if you tried a similar structure, but just, you know, like in terms of like how you ground things, like a structural standpoint. Yeah, you could do But they want to copy the business model without doing the work. That's the issue. Well, and that's the problem I have with that is they were the, the creators were doing the work. It's the executive that that stopped the creator from doing the work. Uh, exactly. If they would not have interfered, you would have you, the work would have been done. And no, no, right, no, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, yeah no, I, don't, I don't disagree with that. Fans oh. don't understand the difference between the executive level and the creator level. They just think that it's one whole entity. Uh, Marvels or DC's trying to copy Marvel. Uh, there was nothing about. Um, what Zack Snyder was doing that was even remotely close to what Marvel was doing. And had he been left on that path, nobody would have been able to make that claim. But because you had clowns that like Ishihara and the rest of the circus, they came and did their thing. And all low-level fans see is the results. They don't they don't really necessarily have to care about the undercarriages of uh, things, you know. So yeah, they don't they don't know about they don't know about like all the stuff that went into it to make that happen. Yeah. Yeah, and so they just they see the end result. They see what BBS was. They see Justice League. They don't realize that, you know. And that's been this whole fight is fighting the perception of bull, you know. That is that have been the result of meddling, and hopefully going forward we won't have that. And, and I know the whole multiverse thing about oh well they're copying. Listen, Marvel wasn't even an existing company before DC developed the multiverse con- concept. Period. And if you look at as far as what Marvel is doing, which is fine. The multiverse is a plot device for Marvel. What DC mm-hmm. Elseworlds and um, alternate Earth has been a way of business for almost sixty years. Well, again, though, and I I hate to be uh, this is very, I know it's a very simple minded thing, but we have to look at this from like the general audience perspective. What they see first on the screen becomes their go to. Okay, this is the standard by which we are expecting things to live up to. So the thing, when they get to something like first, it's kind of like, oh, they're kind of just doing something similar to what we just saw six months ago in another movie. 
First of all, fans got to be smarter and stop being so fucking well, stupid. Well, it's not and fans, be, though. This is the general audience it, I'm talking fans, about. Who general audience, uh, general audience. Okay, general audience slash fans. Two, I'm going to give you an example of how that can easily be turned around and defeated. L- Lowe's has been around literally 100 years, right? Lowe's was around, Lowe's Home Improvement was around decades before Home Depot. Yet Home Depot came and took their same model for the most part, tweaked it a little bit, after being pretty much outpaced and in, in dominating Texas and all the South with, with hundreds more stores than we ever had, right? Yet Home Depot is the number one uh, retailer. All right. So perceptions can change if you do the work to change them. And that's, that's, it doesn't matter who's first. It just matters who's better and who, who sells it better. Yeah, it does. Better. It does matter who's first. I don't care. No, it doesn't. If you're a knucklehead. Yes, maybe. it does. Yes, it does. No, this is what you know. What actually, no, it doesn't because it because here's the difference. Here, here's it's, something I told. Here's something I told a friend of mine once. <laughs> I feel I feel like I should have been right then. I should have been like, uh, here's something my nana taught me once. If you oh, want to know if your chicken stuff is ready, just throw some against the wall and see what sticks. If that guy is in your house right now, I'm turning this off. Okay, no, but here's here's the thing. What was I going to say? Where, where's oh, I told a friend of mine because my, a friend of mine. For the longest time, was racing to get his reviews out like the minute something dropped, a minute a movie dropped or a TV show dropped, right? And I explained to them, listen, you don't have to do that. Just be the place that people want to see your opinion, right? Because, yeah, you're always going to snag up those people who are just like, oh, what's the first reviews are out there? But what's the most important ones? It's the ones that people literally are coming to see you. Like, it doesn't matter when you do that review. They're going to watch that review. That's what you want is the quality. Uh, can we go on to the next super chat here? Because I, I don't want to make people wait too long for um, $20. Todd, yeah, $20. Todd, another $20. Uh, H-Parts has one, I think, before that. Yeah, this H-Parts that? has one. We're going to take this. Uh, we got cream of chicken soup. Got a family size can here. I'm going to put three family size cans of this soup into. How much you pay for that? $2, $5? I don't know. My kids picked it up. Hey, on, Chris, this is, what do you think? Of, oh, I got that one. Cody and oh, yeah, I'm is sorry. A, is a second I came in late, guys. Sorry, I'm just. I came in after our stream, and I watched. I rewatched WrestleMania because I was doing our stream or our recording while I watched Mania was going on. Um, yeah, look, I, I need to watch. I need to watch both of those matches, and uh, and I want to watch both of those matches. Wasn't there like a two dollar uh, super chat from? Uh, yes, there was. Yeah, it's for it. Yeah, right there. Uh, two dollars. Logan Paul had Toshiaki Kawada style tights. Really? He did. And I'm, I, you know what? I'm always happy when somebody references those wrestlers because I don't hear that enough outside of me. Well, he's very he's professional. He knows. And there's a twenty dollars super chat from Todd Fair. Uh, okay. Further down. Damn, that's a diss on Warner Brothers. I mean, uh, Discovery. Uh, Todd Fair for twenty dollars says, "When the ninety nine cent store, I mean Discovery, takes over the Warner Brothers and Warner Media, they might spend money, but the ninety nine cent store, I mean Discovery, might do great things." <laughs> Damn, I can't really even dignify that with a response for the most part. Todd, you're talking about, you're talking Todd, about a company. Use somebody else in disguise. <laughs> All right, Todd. I'll go ahead. Todd, Todd, Todd works for the industry, so he knows what he's talking about. Okay, a lot of people work in the industry. Okay, so I'm sure it so I'll be honest with you, Todd. You and I need to hook up, man. Outside of um, <laughs> outside of these super chats, I would love to talk to you. Like, I mean, we haven't really talked. Like, I don't think we're on social social media together. I don't think I could be wrong, but I'll I don't. Shock if we have a Twitter. I, I don't. What's that? Listen, is, uh, I said I'd be shocked if Todd has a Twitter. Does Todd work in the industry? I didn't know that. I don't know. Maybe, who knows? I mean, he knows his things. I would sure. I would not call a Discovery a 99 cent company. They're spending $43 billion to take over. They know what they're doing. They're, they're spending more and more billions to uh, absolve in a uh, Warner Brothers debt. So I don't. if that was a 99 cent store, then they're one hell of a 99 cent store. Well, okay. Here's the problem is right now. Discovery has been known for discovery programs, right? And that's the problem. That's what everybody's talking about. But here's the thing. They are changing their approach. They're literally changing their approach by, by going into this with Warner Brothers now. So they're, they're changing it. And they've already said that they're going to spend, uh, they're sp- according to them, they're spending the most of any of these. Uh, $22 billion. $22 billion. And that's, so we know that that's not all going to be on, uh, 
Dr. Pimple Pimple Popper. Popper, you know? I mean, Harry those, Potter. Those are, those are the cheapest shows around. Sure, people are going to do that. But uh, but the reality is, is that, you know, those we're going to actually get spending on HBO Max. We're going to get spending on, on you know, theatrical. So I, I understand what Todd's saying. I understand what Todd is saying. Because right now, you know, that's the that's kind of the general consensus. Oh, well, it's Discovery, so they're they're cheap, and you know, Zaslav has been cheap, whatever. But now Zaslav is ha- now has access now to something he has not had access to before. Yeah, and that's serious capital. IPs. That that's one of the things. That's one of the first things that he, that Zaslav brought up was the major IPs that now he has access to, and they're going to try to they're going to do everything that they can to try to maximize that money and get that money back and um yeah so i guess Actually, I, I think, I think it's know, gonna be there. they're gonna come by hbo and discovery just call it hbo discovery and and stuff and they're gonna they're gonna have harry potter lord of the rings back dc so they could pick whatever franchise they wanted to work on again so yeah It'll be good talk. Right, so. They got games. They got games to throw coming out in the next couple of weeks. All right. So what's the next one? Uh, H Bards. Okay. So is this the next one? I'm sorry about it. Yeah, that is the next one. Uh, H Bards five dollars says, "How do they top night two? There has to be some surprise for tomorrow night. I don't think so. This is my concern too. I feel like night two is going to be poor compared to night one because there's just a lot of fluff. I mean, you have the main event, which is the biggest match of the night. They're calling it the biggest WrestleMania match in history, championship it's unification time, match, guys. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns, which, yay, they're unifying the championship, finally. Okay. Yes, thank you. That's boring. This is, the third main, this is the third main event with these two. Right. Yeah, but but you know what, though? The, it's a better version of Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar than we've had those other times. They're actually better developed and written characters now, so that's somewhat of a positive. Yeah. Uh, slightly in the case of I don't care about that. No. I'd be more excited about that Cody Rhodes match, and I'd be more excited about the uh, the Stone Cold Steve Austin. What you know? What I mean, like that. No, 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 no. Well, 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 also going to be. Well, hold on. There's also what is it? Uh, Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn. Oh yeah, I'm so excited about that. I'm, I'm excited about the guy who's going to wrestle who has a colostomy bag. No offense against people who have to have a colostomy bag, but. Like, you really think that that guy's going to do a major thing in the ring? That's uh, a break. Well, I'm excited for the uh, this Edge versus AJ Styles. That might be a good match. Maybe. It would have been six years ago. I, I now I, I hope it's a great match, but this is a match that really I wish would have taken place a long, long time ago when both of these guys were a little bit, you know, a, a little bit more polished off and they actually put on yeah. that the tag team match. championship match might be okay. Hey, real quick, because I, I can't see it. What's this? Oh, what's this I, I'm looking at this chat and I'm seeing stuff with Austin. Who? What's going on with that? Um, I, I, I'm scrolling. Telling me that I don't my, understand it. Just oh, my he's arguing with uh, I think we were just getting into a conversation about BBS. Yeah. Hey, what else? Y'all is? chill. We need to chill. Oh, he's saying BBS wasn't really that good. It's a glorified mess. It's like a guilty pleasure. Uh, I think it's one of the great comic book movies ever made, but hey, that's all subjective. That's that's why we all. I just got off a, a stream well, that will air on Tuesday. Here's the thing, everybody, chill out. I froze, didn't I? I no, know. So that we just all froze listening to. You. Um, I uh, and this is uh, I need actually, I meant to. Uh, I texted you. We we're done with the the stream for Tuesday, but um, when you guys watch that stream, uh, me and Silent Scotty, we have two. Drastically different takes on watching. Yeah. Well, I, I think what we have to be careful of is like yeah. if people want to call something horrendous or say they don't like it, that's okay. Like, I don't yeah. think it's a case of, well, you're just saying this to start a fight or you're just yeah. saying this because you're it's being dumb. It's an opinion. It's fine. And when did opinion, man, we got to stop going to World War Three over every opinion. My goodness, it's been a I mean, that's like saying, hey, you love Morbius, but I thought Morbius was garbage. Yeah, I liked fine. it. Like I said, it wasn't Godfather Part Two, but I'm seeing the reviews. That show was and... like that show was like Transformer Three, man. No, it was that terrible. Bro. Mm, I still think Transformers Four is a worse movie, but yeah, I mean, no, it was like Transformer I, bro, Levels. 
my point about uh, Morbius is like the pre-destruction of Morbius was 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 stupid. And I thought if you went to Morbius, you saw it and you didn't like it, that's one thing. But the pre-destruction of a movie, and I've seen this over and over again. You keep doing this. That's what ruined uh, BVS. That's what that's what changed the trajectory of, of Justice League. We had knucklehead diaper shitters that were basically destroying a movie. And you had even dumber executives listening to those knuckleheads, half of whom were never going to see the movies. And here we, we end up with the end result of something we don't like. You know what? Spend your money. Go see the movie. Don't even listen to me. You know, like I said, if somebody who, who likes romantic comedies comes to give me their opinion on Blade Runner, I'm going to laugh at them and wonder why they're even in existence. You know, but if somebody who likes the same type of movies and we have the same type of results and we, we, we ride or die, then maybe you should take that person a little bit more serious. But even Stan, and if they ain't paying for the movie, screw them. This is your money. This is your two or three hours. Stop letting these damn critics uh, railroad you. And the Rotten Tomato score is hilarious now because now it's up at 69%. For for fan uh, uh, audience scores, and that's actually pretty respectable. That is a disgrace to a comic. No, it's book. not. 70, 69 to seventy percent. It's that's actually a, that is a D. That is a D. C. That's a C plus actually. It's not that mm, high C. I mean, but still, that means seven out of every. What if I'm doing my math right? Right, seventy percent, seven out of every ten people. Right. I mean, that's not bad. That's not. Now you look at the critic score, which was an absolute joke. It, that's sixteen percent. So we all came from the same planet, same human species. Where did we diverge between a sixteen percent and a sixty nine percent? It deserves hey, a sixty percent. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this, okay? And please, please hear me, guys. Um, if somebody doesn't like something, they don't like it. It's okay. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, we want to keep our chat chill. We want to keep it professional. That's what we're doing here, right? Yeah. Or if you like something. That's not a bad thing either. Exactly. It's not a bad thing if you like it. It's not a bad thing if you hate it. It's just somebody's opinion. And, you know, listen, uh, Aust Austin's a friend. Uh, Phil is a friend. Uh, I know that both of you guys have, have, very, have very strong opinions about some things, and that's fine. That is okay. I'm fine with that. Let's all be okay with that. If, if we can't come to an agreement on something, that's fine. That's fine. Let's... Uh, move along with it you know super uh, sorry for the on the next thing so here's h bart's here it says um when stone cold went back behind the curtain i thought he was going to come back out in his old gear also even though he was slow it was a great match i got i gotta check that match out I honestly mean, i was shocked at how much at, I, I was not expecting a match i thought it was just going to be a little talking segment with a stole clone stutter and we, everyone went home it was a full-blown match uh, there's a lot of action in there that I was shocked by. Like they did a lot of stuff in the ring, um, you know, outside of the ring at one point. So that was really cool. The Rock uh, says they definitely said it's his last match, though. Like they said, nope, this is it. Like that, that I don't no believe more. It. I'm done. I don't believe it. <laughs> Next <laughs> WrestleMania. Next WrestleMania. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus the versus versus The Rock. All three. Ke Kevin Owens sold the crap out of that match, though. He was he Hulk did a Hogan. great job so selling it to make it seem like it, probably even better than it was, but still. Todd Fair with a five dollars super chat. Thank you, Todd. Says exactly. I said I didn't like BDS, but that is just my opinion, and that's that's the thing. That thing. Movies are subjective. That's why I can say I enjoyed Mor Morbius. I didn't like the ending, and I didn't like some of the CGI, and the the uh, the extra scenes just weren't that good. But I thought the movie in general was really good, and I thought it was. I, and I think that it's that it's not even. Um, I, I don't. I don't understand why everybody's like hating on it the way that they're hating on it. But that's their opinion, and I can have a conversation for them. But I'm not going to be able to change everybody's mind, and either. And you know, I don't want to. Like, if if you like it, awesome. If you don't, that that's you know that's up to you. Okay, next step in this. We are first of all going to take. Uh, I got to get a giant spoon here, ladle. Yes, don't watch uh, more of his guys. I don't want to play. Hey, play. If you want to, if you want to wait, Morbius will be on Netflix and during summer, I believe, and that will be on Disney Plus next year. I'm gonna give this a quick. I'm gonna give this a quick mix of our uh, of our chicken, and our uh, our soup and our uh, our broth. Right there, just like that. Mix that around. Oh, nice. That looks good, bro. 
Oh, dude, it's it's a dude. Once this thing starts cooking, you'd be amazed how great this stuff smells. I mean, this this right here fills your house. Man, you you do this on a Saturday afternoon, like you put this in, in the, you know, around uh, around uh, oh maybe 10, 11 a.m. and then by like four or five p.m. you're you're eating. It's good stuff. Okay, so there's that. Now, once that's mixed, I'm gonna take a frozen of vegetables, just like so. Uh, oh, hey, did uh, yeah, hey, hold on a second, Ryan Hartwell. Thank you, Ryan. The five dollar super chat says, technically speaking. It was fleas that caused the black plague, not rats. Also, rats are very clean and often groom themselves more so than cats. The more you know, you know. Yeah, maybe don't, maybe have you ever, you have you ever the seen? So hey, Ryan, have, Ryan, no, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan I, I still, I still ain't. Uh, I'll pet a cat all day, but I ain't touching your. I ain't touching a rat. I'm sorry. Have you, have you ever seen a cook rat before? Seen what? A cook rat. Uh, no. Why would I want to see a cooked rat? It's on YouTube. I was like, what the fuck? So there's, there's your mixed egg. vegetables. That's got that's got carrots, corns, and green beans, just like if you're eating a pot pie at home. So each one of these will get a bag because uh I'm doing it this way. That's a lot of vegetables, Jesus. Well, yeah, because it's well there's a lot there. There's a Once lot you of mix chicken it in, too. Once, once you mix it in, you'll notice that it's really not that, um, like, it's it's not more than what needs to be in there. It's it's perfect amount. It's just a large bag. This is a, uh, what, what is this? This is a 32-ounce bag. That's a lot yeah. for a 32-ounce. <laughs> so then, just going to mix that in. Oh, you put it in at the bottom. Oh. Yeah. No, the vegetables cook um, faster, actually, so you do want them on top away from the uh, heating element. Yeah. I don't know. I put it at the bottom when I cook it. I don't know. It just makes no, no. It's a slow cooker. The heating element's in the bottom. Anything down there will burn. And honestly, if I wasn't doing this overnight while I sleep, I would probably wait until I pull the chicken out and shred it before I uh, before I put this in, but I want it all to cook. Um, so and I'm not getting up too early. So I'm gonna just gonna do that. So it's colorful. Look how colorful it is. So but you're right, but it's frozen. So uh, so we're not gonna burn the vegetables, but it's gonna just be justice league colorful. Justice league colorful. I like it. That tastes good. That's my nanas in the side. And uh, one of the girls at the church she is making uh, fresh cheesecake from scratch for tomorrow, and she's also and she's also making cookies. And uh, she, oh, she's bringing a veggie tray and stuff. So man, we're gonna we're gonna cook. We're gonna eat good tomorrow at the church. All right, so there you go. That is how you make it. So. What I'll do in the morning is, is I will get up and I'll pull all the chicken out because the chicken will all cook. And I'm going to stir this a few times before I'm done tonight. But um, we uh, we do that. You put them in the fridge or you leave it outside? This? Well, it's got to cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not putting it in the fridge. Why would I put it in the fridge? It's cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it, this is hot. So it's not ready to eat. I mean, that chicken's raw. So... <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, so there's that. Now, a uh, couple of things. I'm going to actually make the biscuits now, and then we'll warm them up tomorrow. Because we, we've got a, like a convection oven thing, so, we're, so we'll warm them up tomorrow. But... Um, Bye, RJ. He, he said you got to go. What's that? RJ got to go. He said he's doing something oh. in the morning. Yeah. All right, RJ. We love you, bro. Um, so what we got is we got these... Uh, oops. Got some Grands biscuits. Uh, oh, that's a biscuit. Yeah, yeah butter tasting. Because what we do is, is when you eat this, you could eat it like a soup if you want it. You can eat it like a soup, but it, but because it's the pot pie kind of thing, what we do is, is once it's all cooked and everything, we take it, we shred all the chicken. So all the chicken will be shredded all, you know, like really nice. And then we take, you take a biscuit, you, you do it in half or whatever, or you can leave, you know, do a couple biscuits and then 
you pour this over the biscuits. Papa chicken, papa. Yeah. Heck yeah, baby. It's good stuff. It's really good stuff. So, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and I'll make these biscuits here real quick. How many biscuits? Um, so I got, what do I got? I got four cans. Where's the can? I have a fourth can. Where's the other can? Oh, I, no, more, I know more than in the morning. I, always I, got, I got one off brand. One. I got one off brand. There you go. Off one off brand. Oh. Yeah, one off brand. You know, it's all right. It's all good. Well, I got those two things. Cooking. <laughs> those two things cooking. What I'll do is now is I will grab a couple sheets like this. Wow, that is very burned. <laughs> no, dude, that's flavor, man. That's flavor, that's, yeah, but that's, dude, that, you you could scrape that all day and that wouldn't come off. But that's that's. Oh that, yeah, yeah. I that's just how leave, you, know, I you got, got a flavored pan right there. My mine's look the same thing. I was like, yeah, I just leave that okay. Heck yeah. Okay. I'll so buy new ones if I need to. <laughs> ready for, you ready to hear the pop? Yes. Oh come on. Oh man. Oh. Violet. Yeah, that looks good, yo. Wow. Look at that. It's got it's got butter in it. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good stuff right there. All right, so we take that. There our biscuits out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight right there. Yep, that's eight right there. these what brand is that this is the off brand this is uh our our local big stores over here called meyer up in oh. the uh, midwest oh that one just went yeah so we just happen to have some of these left so I'm using these two but you know what i probably should have done was pre h-bar got a super shot Probably should have preheated my oven. All right, I'll be right back for the super chat. Hold on a second. Yes, uh, yes you know, we'll be right back. He got those good biscuits. Hey guys, check out Morbius if you want to see it. Oh, uh, it also be on, on Netflix. Believe in summertime, and this is plus next year. So. All right. I should have done that first, but we're preheating the oven. Pre, we're, we're, you can preheat it to um, 375 uh, for like about 15 minutes, 15, 17 minutes. Uh, or if you want to be a little taller, you can do, which is not what I'm doing, is 325, a little bit of a lower heat, and do that for like 21 minutes or so. Uh, let's see. H Farts here with the $2 Super Chat says, did you see Estelle Harris passed away? No, I did not. She passed away on this, what was it, three hours ago? Really? Yeah, I think what was it, the age of 93 or 95? I can't remember. That's a bummer. Oops, we lost William. You know what? You can let yourself in, right, William? He's back in. Yeah, I know. I, I let him in, but I was telling him he could let himself in. I'm on the phone. Okay. I can't do it through the phone. At least I don't think I can do it through the phone. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it, but it's harder. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you basically will end the broadcast if you do it. <laughs> yep, so we'll do these. What are those white things? What's that? What's that white stuff? Biscuits. It's called, it's Biscuits. called raw biscuit dough. Have you tried making monkey bread from them? 
I have not, but monkey bread is good. Yeah. It'd probably kill me. Hey, you can't put that metal uh-huh. in the microwave. <laughs> bro, you don't do it in the microwave. Bro, I, I feel bro. so bad for you, man. I'm so bad for you. Who the hell I'm just trying to put it in the fire. microwave. I, I know, I know you're in, I know you're in your seventies, but you know, it's never too late to learn how to cook, bro. Seriously, it's never too. I late. know how to cook. I I resent that, Amar. I know how to read the back of that package. I know how to push the buttons on that little machine. Oh my gosh, bro! Heat it up from the inside, bro. You don't cook biscuits in a microwave or chicken Every in a microwave. Day. If it's not microwave, you don't do that. You need a fryer to do that. If you got a fryer, fine. If you don't, bro, I want you to live, man. Hey, Lex, Liz, listen. I'm gonna do one of these like you're doing now for Thanksgiving. I want to do my own stream of me. Uh, the, the turkey in the microwave is great, man, and, and it takes it takes oh an artist. Oh my life. gosh! I I made a turkey this last year. I should have filmed me doing it because I tell you what, man, I I nailed it, bro. Like I made the best turkey ever. It was so juicy. It was so good. Was this that not a turkey? And hey, half hour, half hour, and it was done. A bit rubbery, but hey, who's criticizing? Dude, I don't even know what to do with you. Enosh, was it Zack Snyder turkey? Maybe. It he's doing hard, hard, he's hard doing as fuck getting it in the microwave with the sledgehammer. He's, he's doing mallet. Final Crisis. <laughs> now, if you really want to get creative, I wouldn't probably do it with this recipe, but uh, there's always... Uh, that right there. Hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, that ketchup? Hot wings, here we come. <laughs> you mean hot sauce? Oh. That's hot sauce. Okay. Yeah. Or red sauce, whatever you want to call it. Is that Heinz 57? What the hell are you? No, that was Reds. Red hot. Yeah, it's Frank's. That's the stuff that uh, was originally going with the. Uh, hey, this is too many wings. steps, man. I'd starve, man. Come on. Man. Give me a pot pie. William, you're disappointing me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know your way around the kitchen. Uh, yeah, I do. I know where the microwave is, and I know where the food <laughs> is. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, this is what I tuned in for. It's whipped cream time. <laughs> Something's wrong with you, man. <laughs> Stuff causes brain damage. Uh, it's too late. Yeah, read the bottle. Have you ever put Have you ever put whipped cream on watermelon? What the hell? Oh no! Back with the food challenges again. That's as bad as pineapple on pizza. Pineapple no, on pizza. bro. I, I saw I saw it on YouTube. I was like, what? pineapple on pizza <laughs> is not that bad. All right, no, we need to, no, no, stop I, I it. Stop it. Won't need a pineapple pizza. No if you have, if you've had pineapple on a ham, that's what it is on a pizza. No, I pick pineapple off of a ham. <laughs> In that case, I understand. Well, I mean, have you ever tried bacon pizza? Bacon pizza, yeah. Always make sure. To put your utensils back so that the wife is happy. See, mine That's are all true. plastic, so they just go in the garbage. What? Utensils, disposable utensils. And one of, you know, just cameras? Not utensils, not utensils. Your, ingredients. Uh, your ingredients. Oh, the, mine come in the little foil packages. I gotta throw those away. I can't keep those. <laughs> Dude. What is wrong with you, man? He's still scoping out other parts of your house. That's why. I see. I see why you. Do you have a lady in your life, William? Well, why? Why are we asking me these questions? Single. Oh, He's single. Oh, like I'm under attack. Because <laughs> I asked you a question. If you have a, I, I ask you one question. You sit here going off like all this other <laughs> stuff about me, and I ask you one this, question. This is, you have a this lady is, in your this life. Is mental, like, oh, this is oh, mental oh, English. What? What is this? I feel like I'm under attack. I feel like I'm under attack. What makes you think any woman in my life would be able to cook either? <laughs> both what? Eat 
Yeah. Wait, Dude, women can cook beautifully. Shut up I don't the hot dogs, if you are right, using now. a microwave, William, I do tend to worry. Only thing you need to survive. What, bro? You know, what? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna do a uh, matchmaker show. So, all of you, if you have any questions about your love life, like any question at all that you would like to ask, submit those via either Twitter, oh uh, my goodness. email, pointdexterlounge at gmail.com. Uh, and let me know your questions. You can even do them anonymously if you want. That's fine. Um, yeah. And uh, we'll read them. And we'll, we'll, we're going to have like a, just a little show, a little like, you know, maybe 10 minute show just to answer some, some love line questions. Dude, the drops on that show are, are going to be epic. I, 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 that's going to be a train wreck. I can see the, I can see the beads and the, the butt plug uh, drop right now. 10 times during that stream. Hey, why is it when I started mentioning like love stuff, you you start talking about butt plugs? Hey man, I, I have to know where I'm at. Maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe, he, maybe he maybe he has one at his house. I mean, dude, you do what you do. You do what you do. I I, I ain't here to tell you, you know. Hey, he where is he, the he on the butt plug? Oh, you know what that sound means. You know what that sound means? It just buzzed, and that means it's ready for our biscuits. So let's take our biscuits. Let's take our two sheets of biscuits. Yes, I have two sheets. Hey, William, now right. you can see I gave two sheets for you. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. What would I, I do without you? Not you. I feel like I feel like I'm in like a like a restaurant commercial, like. Come check out we know twenty percent off. Time to make the biscuits. Da, da, da. I've, oh, thought, I've actually thought about uh, at one time about opening like just a breakfast restaurant. You know, oh, no, it cool. just serve breakfast. You know, I mean, I love making lunch mm -hmm. too, but I love making breakfast for people, man. I, one of my favorite things. You know, should do it. You should do it. I'll be impressive. I'll be surprised. What's stopping you? I don't know. I just uh, probably because I got I got so many other things to do. So y'all just keep giving super chats and fund my my breakfast restaurant idea. Hey, the hardest thing to do when thinking about something like that is taking the first step. Everything else is downhill. That's true. That is true. You know about that, but William, you like you you like military food? No. Uh, well, it all depends on where you're at. Um, some some defects or dining facilities, as we call them. Um, when I was overseas, the food just, it would seem to be better. Uh, when I was here in Garrison, it, you know, it was it, it was wasn't that great. But when I was in Middle East, unless we were eating at a Middle Middle East place or somewhere, you know, that was in country, uh, it wasn't the greatest. You got a lot of it. You never starved, but you know. I have, if I had they to have peanut butter, they have peanut butter cookies. Like, you know, I was like, Jesus. You know what that is? Awesome. That's my dart stool. <laughs> Boo. I got two of those. He's going to put a lightsaber in your butt. Woo. Hey, now. <laughs> mm, feels good. What's the occasion with all the cooking? Uh, well, we're just, we're just having a, a, a big thing tomorrow at the church. Tiffany is speaking tomorrow morning and uh, then, uh, and then we're going to have, dang it. Who froze? That's for him. That's him. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is freezing sporadically throughout the evening. Yeah. I think, I think it's because I'm in the kitchen. I think, I think it's because I'm in the kitchen. Um, but um, anyways, no, so we, so Tiffany is speaking tomorrow and then I'm going to, we're having a big, just dinner, just get together, just people just being able to chill and hang out tomorrow after service. So cool. <laughs> Michelle, Michelle here says, uh, says Enosh, I swear if it wasn't for me, my husband would starve. <laughs> Hey, do what you got to do to survive, you know? 
Yeah. Nah, you gotta, make, gotta, make you gotta find a William a, a nice lady. Uh, yeah, cooking's overrated, man. Come on. Yeah, he definitely sounds like a good confirmed bachelor. Can you guys still see me on this one? Yeah, we can. Yeah. You can so, so it's just my phone that's doing that. Again? Your phone's bit rate is different, though. You're on the camera on the side one? Okay, that one's... Yeah, that one's fine. Yeah, that hey, one's which fine. one is your phone? The color looks better on this one. Yeah. What? Are they giving you defective iPhones? All iPhones are defective. Well, this is this is mine's the, working like, okay. This is the webcam. Uh huh. That's the iPhone. This yeah. is the iPhone. Yeah. yeah. It's not That's the, the ones we're having problems with. Yeah. It's not the iPhone. I talk to the people at streaming. You know, it's, it's, it's just you know, it's just Safari. That's the thing. It's best with Safari. It's uh, oh yeah, yeah. I am on Safari. It's true. Okay. It's just oh. Safari that is just not. It's not optimized for Safari, and that is why it's not that good. That makes sense. But the color looks great, doesn't it, on the iPhone? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, ten eighty p camera. Oh yeah. Yeah, and this is the back camera. This isn't even the like the the like forward the facing. Cool, yeah, the super cool like tri level camera. You know, this is like. Mm. All right. Well, I'm rolling up and Fat Burger's driving. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna close up too. I one point uh, five pound, one point five pound hamburger. It weighs as much as a small child. It is, it's it's going to be. You're cooking and making your, your food. You're cook in the microwave. No, no, it's already been cooked by more. Uh, one point five pounds is not a small child, my friend. A newborn? Uh, not even a newborn, but hey. What are you? What the fuck? It's heavy, it's heavy no. yeah. Don't mention babies and eating. It's not a good thing. No, that's that's not a that's not good. That's not good. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, uh, Thanks, everybody. Jason and Ash. We need to get you some big wireless APs. I agree, bro. Silent. We need to get you out here, bro. For sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got, I got, but well, the thing is, is it, it does this to me, like when I'm literally right next to my router in, in the, in the toy room, I'm literally right next to my router and it still does it. So I, I don't know. This is a device, but are you going all night or are you, uh, are you going on Sunday shenanigans tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow night we'll be back for Sunday night shenanigans. Yep. For sure. There shouldn't be any news. It should be a slow news day. Nobody's getting slapped tomorrow because there's no ceremony. So. Well, I've got some interesting news. Uh, even after uh, I'm, you know, if you guys saw my video about Ezra, uh, that that was supposed to premiere at nine at nine o'clock, and I accidentally set it to premiere tomorrow night. So I went to go see Morbius, and then it was uh, it was off. But um, uh, after that, I got some interesting information regarding the place that he got kicked out of the first time. And you know, when we showed the video, the girl pushes him literally out the door. Yeah. There's some interesting things. That was it? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he was being harassed. Yeah. There's well, some I'll interesting things about that restaurant. Him. Let's just leave it at that for now. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll uh, I'll make that video because it's uh, it's very interesting. I got I to look into a couple of things. But uh, mm. yeah, apparently there's a, there's a little bit of a history. Uh, not necessarily with Ezra in that, rest that restaurant, but uh, there's a history with that That's restaurant hard. acting in yeah. certain ways. So, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll be we'll be keeping an eye on that story for sure. And like like I've said, hey, it's um, there's usually more sides to a story than just one, and it's mm -hmm. and there's more to it than just maybe the first one you heard. But like I said, if it comes out that that you know he's to blame for these things, that's fine. When we'll report that. And we'll absolutely because I, but I want to get to the truth. I don't want to just get to the sensationalism. I don't want to just hear the, the sensationalized, you know, uh, thing. I want to hear the truth. Yeah. And so we'll get to it, hopefully. And then, um, and then you, right, got Will Smith, and you got Will Smith being blacklisted by Hollywood, which I don't agree with, but you know. No. Hey, uh, that, no. It, that's going to be his life, though. That's going to be his life. Yeah. He, Play ghetto he, games, get ghetto prizes. I'm just saying, people don't understand, that's the Academy of Motion Pictures and Sciences. He disrespected the Academy. He disrespected all those people who were there. 
He admitted it in his speech. He disrespected all the people who won that night, all the people who were nominated, all the hardworking people who put that show on, because all of the attention was to, look, even if he's upset, even if he's mad, even if he was justified, if you even wanted to make that, he made it all about him in one moment, and he assaulted somebody on stage. And we refused to leave. You got to know that there are. That's boys. not true. They he did not refuse to leave. That was they were too late for that. Uh, yeah. There's there's some weird things about that. Yeah, I don't know, that, 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 that story keeps changing. It seems like uh, that it was first. It was they didn't ask him. Then they said they did ask him. Then then there. I don't know about that. I isn't isn't, about isn't that. he and she going back and forth? Yeah. 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 Right. LAPD said that there would have been enough to arrest him on. So I'm gonna go with them. Well, I mean, yeah. Chris Rock said yeah, no, and, so there you go. no, no, no. Well, Chris Rock doesn't have to press charges. The the county, the state, and the city can charge him. They can, that, but they yeah. generally don't. Well, yeah, they yeah. Can, but they don't. And the fact that it was at that level, like I said, learn how to act or stay home. That's it's just that simple. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome, Michelle. Michelle mm -hmm. says, you know, I wanted you, I wanted to let you. Uh, uh, wanted to let you know before, uh, or wanted to let you hunt before uh, you left. My little girl is crawling now, Enosh. So my husband and I have been baby-proofing our home. That's mm. awesome. That's awesome. Cool. Hi. That's awesome. I mean, that's cool to hear. I love, I love uh, uh, seeing that. So, uh, yeah, no, you know, the, the thing is, is, is you just got to know, like, I, I, I had a feeling that that stuff was going to happen, though, like that the movies that he was going to be in or whatever. I mean, they were talking about they were they were into Bad Boys 4. And they put that on pause, put that yeah, on pause. by the bad girl directors. Now they're going to work on um, Beverly Hill Cop 4 with um, Eddie Murphy. So, yeah. So it's, uh, I'll tell you what, it's interesting. I mean, but but you had to know that was coming because, like I said, you can Not the blacklisting, but other things, not the blacklisting, but other things, yes. Me too. Yeah. It's just, it's just you, you had to know that that was going to come because, like I said, he disrespected everybody. He literally disrespected the academy, all those people, and people could say, well, he, you know, he was standing up for this, like, but it doesn't matter. He literally disrespected everybody in the moment because he made it about him. He made a choice. And you know, we all saw that choice. You know, and he's apologized for it. And I don't think that he, that should be forever. I don't, I don't. I don't think that that should be forever. But I do think that there will be uh, um, consequences. Will be consequences for a while. He'll bounce back. He's Will Smith. Yeah, He'll bounce, bounce back. People love Will Smith. I still love Will Smith. You know. Um, I, I think he's gonna do bad boys for uh, it's just Sony. Yes, eventually, it, it's typical it's, Sony. They yeah, do I mean, it, 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 his career is on pause, if nothing else. And uh, but we still have to see, you know, what type of accountability, what he does from this point on. Um, I, you know, Hollywood is Hollywood. They can be fickle at times. He might be able to recover. He might not. Oh, yeah, yeah, There's yeah, always sure. that possibility. I have, I have a lot of people who could blacklist in Hollywood right now, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, well, again, it depends on the offense, and again, how he carries himself from this point forward. Well, you, know, you also I mean, can't really compare his offenses to anybody else's offenses, because everybody else true. did not do it at the Academy Awards on their ceremony, on live TV. All mm -hmm. these other guys who did their stuff, you know what, most of it will never make news for the most part, but he mm -hmm. did it at the Academy on live television, so he did a direct act against them and the industry. So yeah. none of those guys that you guys, that a lot of people are bringing up, really can compare to what he did. What he did was much worse uh, when, yeah. it, when, it, when as far as the actual damage to the industry goes. Mm, uh, yeah, I mean, he. I mean, it was just really bad timing on his part. I mean, it was you know a, a cluster F. You know, it was like, and he did it to himself. Yeah. So that's the whole point. He has to see what, how he carries himself from this point forward, and how everyone else responds. But yeah, a lot of his stuff right now is going to be on pause. Hopefully, it'll start up again, but we don't know. I mean, hey, whether his career recovers year. or not, whether his career career recovers or not, and it most likely will, you can't undo that damage. You can't undo the fact that the. What was supposed to be the, one of the most special nights of your career is forever attached to, to, to thuggery. 
no matter what happens from this this point, there is no TARDIS to go back in time to undo that. That is that is stained him and that moment forever. No matter how many movies he does. Yeah. I mean, hey, guys, me, I'm gonna me, shut me. things down. Hey, Krypton, I saw you just pop in, man, but I'm shutting things down. My computer's about ready to die, and I gotta get this stuff cleaned up and get to bed. Uh, because it's about three in the morning, I gotta get up. So uh I love you all. Thank you for joining me for my cooking stream. I will take pictures and show you all what it looked like. Maybe I'll take a little bit of video tomorrow Oof. morning and show you guys what it looked like when it was all done. It's so good. It's so delicious. And, yes, uh, please. Oh, show. Oh, show. And then I'll take some uh, of everybody eating it, too, so you guys can know what it is. It's real life, what people actually thought of it when you saw me make it. So, uh, Anyways, love you all. Stay nerdy. And uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for joining us. All right. Bye-bye.